Friends, it is May 5th, and today's reading from the Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo is about our essential clearness. Like clouds moving in water, problems make me forget I am clear. Water reflects everything it encounters. This is so commonplace that we think water is blue, when in fact it has no color. Amazingly, while soft and flowing, water as ocean or lake, or even as the smallest puddle of rain, takes on the image of the entire world without ever losing its essential clearness. Of course, it's not so easy for us as emotional beings. We are constantly losing ourselves in the image of everything we experience, but nonetheless, the nature of water can help us understand our very human struggles. I began like so many of us in a household where it was somehow my job to be the lightning rod for the family's tensions of unexpressed emotions. In this way, I learned to be a problem solver, a rescuer, a caretaker. Though through two marriages and countless friendships, I loved by taking on the clouded emotions of those I loved. The tension of other people's unexpressed emotions kept me from feeling my own depth and clarity. My life began, became one of turbulence, always struggling to keep my head above the cloudy surface. But the water, the glorious water everywhere, has taught me that we are more than what we reflect or love. This is the work of compassion, to embrace everything clearly without imposing who we are and without losing who we are. It is, to be sure, an endless and impossible task. But though we can never be as clear as water, it helps to remember that while the very real problems we face are the living things we must handle, they, do not, they are not the essential current of our lives. Beneath the clouds, water desires only flow, desires only to, beneath the clouds, water desires only to flow. And beneath our tensions and problems, the human spirit wants only to embrace and soften. And the activities are, the next time a loved one voices frustration, disappointment, or pain, notice your reaction. Are you problem solving or accepting what they are saying? Are you trying to cheer them up or bear witness to their experience? Are you left holding their pain or deepened for what is shared? If you can, receive this pain as if it were a stone dropped into the clear moving depth of who you are. Wow, that one I needed to hear. And that one is really hard for me because I really do take on other people's emotions. I used to live like that. I mean, that used to be my, my norm. Um, if someone was upset, I would take it on or I would problem solve. I mean, that's just, that, that's one of my skills is problem solving and rescuing and caretaking. And um, I've had to unlearn that. I've had to unlearn that. And I, I never looked at it like I was taking on their turbulence and it was making me unclear and the clarity of who I am wasn't possible when I was holding everybody else's stuff. Um, so I really like the way he shares with us what we could do instead. Are you problem solving or accepting what they're saying? All you need to do is accept, hear, listen. We all just want to be heard, bear witness to their experience, deepen for what it's share. I mean, this is, is life's work for me, is to be available but not lose myself and others because I naturally just have a love and compassion for other human beings, but this is my work. This is my work to learn how to be there without taking it on myself. So I hope that helps you. It certainly helps me. I hope you are having a good week. It's it's been quite the experience the last month and a half, and uh, I, I've seen more people out. I was driving my kids somewhere, and, and it seems like 
life is stirring a little bit more. I, I'm looking forward to getting over this hump. But in the meantime, uh, please keep coming back. Subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to share this with any of your friends, please do. I would love to spread this message of the Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. It's excellent, excellent writing and great thought-provoking activities. So be well, be safe, be kind to yourself and others. Namaste.